enriching lives in the community. The Society for Elimination of Rural Poverty, SCRP, an autonomous body of Government of Andhra Pradesh funded by the World Bank, is responsible for the implementation of Indra Kranti Padam, the flagship scheme designed specifically to empower the rural poor. In fact, it is a community demand-driven rural poverty reduction program, the single largest, one of its kind in South Asia. Andhra Pradesh has over 850,000 self-help groups with a strong membership of over 10 million poor women living in the rural areas, including the remotest areas in the region. SERP has worked several of its own innovations into the health and nutrition interventions that directly benefit the poorest segment of its population. Its main objective was to deal with the lack of primary health care facilities in the villages. One such innovation was the establishment of community-run nutrition come daycare centers. The centers, run as they are by the self-help groups, have come as a boon to scores of poor women and their families with dietary diversification such as usage of millets and green leafy vegetables in a daily diet and also in the number of low birth weight babies, improved maternal health and the ability to combat disease through better nutrition, built health awareness and significantly empowered the poor. The nutrition centers have now become not only a point for delivery of all these health interventions, but also a source of healthcare expertise in the villages. All the SHG members are entitled to get enrolled in the nutrition centers. The SHG Federation takes care of the resources, support and administration, while the project looks after the logistics support. Microcredit plans are prepared to provide balanced diet for pregnant women and lactating mothers for a period of 18 months. That is, from the second trimester during pregnancy and one year during lactation, and also for children below five years of age. The cost of the diet provided at the nutrition centers is around rupees 30 per day per person, which is shared by the beneficiary and the village organization. The repayment of loan by the beneficiary is done in easy installments. Armed with the plan, the women members procure groceries earmarked for balanced diet. The daily ration plan is drawn out as per the number of pregnant women listed at the nutrition center. As an offshoot, kitchen gardens have sprung up in and around the nutrition centers. The cook, who is also an SHG member, undergoes nine days training at the Home Science College to learn various methods to retain nutrient value in the food prepared and the usage of millets in regular diet. She then prepares food with focus on balanced diet as per ICMR standards. The fixed nutrition and health day at the center takes care of the periodic health checkup, immunization and awareness among the pregnant women. The SHG members themselves maintain the accounts and registers at the nutrition center. In order to focus on the POP, SCRP provides 50,000 rupees as POP fund specifically for nutrition centers. Social audit is conducted periodically by the external team members to see if every transaction that takes place is as per the parameters laid down by the nutrition center. Further, in order to help the women dependent on agriculture sector who owing to pregnancy or during lactating period have to forego their daily wages as they are not in a position to undertake strenuous work, the project has come out with yet another innovative intervention. Formation of income generating common interest groups also known as CIGs. CIG is a village organization centered group activity meant for improving the income generation of the beneficiaries 
so as to help increase their repayment capacity to the nutrition center towards their diet. All the CIG members carry home extra income that directly help their families. The impact of nutrition centers statewide has been tremendous. The opportunities for assured and remunerative incomes are helping the poor beneficiaries in great measure to enjoy balanced diet provided at the center, maintain a healthy life and overcome economic despair and distress. This can be further observed by comparing the project indicators with the national figures. The roadmap is to establish nutrition come daycare centers in every nook and corner of the state. 